25 September 2021 Morning Murli Om Shanti Babdada Madhupan Sweet children you now have godly new blood give lectures with great intoxication and also have the intoxication that Shri Baba is teaching you question what method should you adopt so that you have the permanent intoxication of your aim and objective answer keep your passport for the kingdom with you at the bottom have an ordinary picture of yourself and above it have a picture of yourself in royal dress and above that an image of shri baba you will then easily be able to keep your aim and objective in your awareness always have your passport in your pocket when storms of maya come you will have the thought that your passport will be cancelled and you would not able to go to heaven song o oh, traveler of the night do not become weary the destination of the dawn is not far off om shanti you children understood the meaning of the song The extremely dark night of the path of devotion has now come to an end. Your children know that death cannot come to you now. We are sitting here and our aim and objective to change from human beings into deities. Sannyasis tell people that if they consider themselves to be bulls, that is why they became. That is an example of the path of devotion. just as there is also the example of how ram took an army of monkeys and liberated bharat from ravan you are sitting here and you know that you will become double crown deities when students are studying at school they would say that they will become a doctor or engineer through that study you know that you are becoming deities through this study when we leaf our bodies we will become crowned this is a very dirty world whereas the new world is first class the old world is completely third class this world is coming to an end it would definitely be the creator of the world who makes us into the masters of the world no one else can teach us only shri baba educates us and teaches us raj yoga the father had said became soul conscious effort is needed to become soul conscious what more would you want once you had become fully soul conscious you are brahmins anyway and you know that you are becoming deities you have the intoxication of becoming that previously when we were in the iron age in hell we were impure There is such a big difference between deities and devils. Deities are so pure. Here human beings are so impure. Although they have the appearance of human beings. Look what their characters are like. The worshippers of the deities sing their praise in front of their idols. You are full of all virtues. Whereas we have no virtues. You will now change and become deities. You worship Krishna so that you can go to the land of Krishna. But you don't know when you will go there. You continue to perform devotion for God to come and give you that fruit. The fruit of devotion and salvation. This is a study. First of all, have faith in who it is who is teaching you. That one is Shri Shri. Your children know that the father is giving you Shri Mat. how can those who don't know thus become elevated nowadays they only give one another directions to become corrupt corrupt directions are devilish directions all of you brahmins are following the directions of shri 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 baba only by following the directions of the supreme soul do you become elevated thus will only seat in the intellects of those who have it in their fortune otherwise they don't understand anything when they do understand that themselves will begin to help you some don't even know 
who this is. This is why Baba doesn't meet anyone. They only give their own devilish directions. Everyone is now following the dictates of human beings. Because of not knowing Srimad, they begin to give Brahma Baba their own directions. The father has now come to make you children elevated. Your children say, Baba, we are meeting you again just like we did 5000 years ago. Those who don't know anything cannot give such a response. Your children are very intoxicated with your study. The study is very important. However, Maya is completely against you. You know that you are studying the study through which you will receive a double crown. You will become double crown in the future for birth after birth. Therefore, you should make such effort for that. This is called Raj Yoga. And it's such a wonder. Baba constantly tells you to go to the Lakshmi and Narayan temple. You can also explain to the priest of the temple. Ask him how Lakshmi and Narayan received their status. How did they became masters of the world? If you sit and explain to others in this way, even the priest who looks after the temple will benefit. You can tell them, we will explain to you how Lakshmi and Narayan claim their kingdom. It says in the Gita, God speaks, I teach you Raj Yoga and make you into the kings of kings. Therefore, your children should have so much intoxication of becoming that. You can have a picture taken of yourselves now and of you in a royal dress and put the two together. At the bottom, there should be your own picture and above that, let there be a picture of you in a royal dress. There is no expense in this. You can very quickly make a royal dress. Keep that with you. And you will repeatedly remember that you are becoming deities. At the top should be Shibaba. You have to take all of the pictures. We are changing from humans into deities. We will shed these bodies and become deities because we are now studying Raj Yoga. These photographs will help you. At the top there should be an image of Shiv. Then your picture in royal dress and below that, your normal picture. We are studying Raj Yoga with Shubhaba and are becoming double crown deities. If you keep this photograph with you and someone asks you, you will be able to tell him that it is Shubhaba who is teaching us. When your children look at these pictures, you will feel intoxicated. You can also place these pictures in shops. When Baba was on the path of devotion, he used to keep a picture of Narayan. He also carried a photograph of that in his pocket. You too should keep your photograph and you will remember that you are becoming deities. You should try and find a way to remember the father. It is when you forget to remember the father that you fall. When you fall into vice, you feel ashamed that you won't be able to become a deity. There will be heart failure and you will feel, how can I now become a deity? Baba says, remove the photographs of those who enlarge in vice. Tell them you are not worthy of going to heaven. Your passports are now cancelled. They themselves will feel. I have fallen, and so how could I now go to heaven? Baba gives the example of Narada, who was told to look at his face and see whether he was worthy of marrying Lakshmi. He saw the face of a monkey. Therefore, human beings too will feel ashamed that they have vices and ask themselves, how they could therefore marry Sri Lakshmi or Narayan. Baba shows you many methods. However, you also need to have this faith. When there is the intoxication of vice, you understand that it won't be possible for you 
to become double crown kings of kings you have to make effort baba explains create such wonderful methods and continue to explain to everyone establishment is taking place through raj yoga destruction is now just ahead day by day storms will become more and more forceful bombs are still being manufactured your children are studying the study to claim a high status only once do you become pure from impure people don't understand that they are residents of hell because they have stone intellects you are now changing from being those with stone intellects to being those with the divine intellects if it is in someone's fortune he understands quickly otherwise no matter how much you beat your head it won't sit in his intellect if they don't know the father they are atheist that is they are orphans you have to belong to the lord and master because you are the children of shibaba those here who have knowledge will also continue to protect their children from vices people who don't have knowledge will continue to trap their children in vices just as they are trapped themselves you know that you are protected here from the vices the kumari should be saved first parents push their children into vice you know that this world is corrupt everyone wants an elevated world but who would create that world god speaks i even uplift the sages and holy men it is also written in the gita that god alone has to uplift everyone there is only one god the father comes and uplifts everyone if they were to know at this time that the god of the gita truly it shift who knows what would happen however there is still time for that otherwise everyone's position would begin to shake their thrones would shake when a war takes place you know that someone's throne has begun to shake and that he is now to fall if they were to shake now there would be up heaven it will happen in the future you can explain in your lectures those who know sanskrit very well can relate the verses of the scriptures the purifier the bestower of salvation for all himself says i truly am carrying out establishment to the body of brahma he is bestowing salvation to all that is he is uplifting everyone you need to have great intoxication to give lectures kumaris are said to have new blood they can throw stones of knowledge students have new blood and so they create a lot of upheaval and even throw stones they are very good at that thus too is your new blood you know that they cause so much damage thus is your godly new blood you are becoming new from old you souls who have become old and iron age are now becoming new and golden age your children should have a lot of interest you should always have intoxication you have to uplift your equals the mother guru is also remembered only you know when mothers became gurus the business of gurus takes place now the father comes and places the urn of knowledge on the mothers this is how it all begins some people say that they want a brahmin teacher to be sent to their center baba says you can run the center yourself you reply that you don't have enough courage and definitely need a mother it is good that you give regard to the mothers now this people in the world gives superficial regard no one receives permanent regard at this time your children are receiving the permanent fortune of the kingdom the father explains to you in so many ways the father tells you very many good methods with which you can keep yourself constantly cheerful 
you should always have good wishes for yourself that you will become Lakshmi and Narayan. If it is not in someone's fortune, what effort would he make? The father tells you what effort to make. Effort is never wasted. It is always worthwhile. The kingdom will be established and destruction also has to take place through the great Mahabharat war. As you progress further, you will become stronger and everyone will come. They will not understand this now. Otherwise, the kingdom would end. You have very good pictures. That is salvation, the land of happiness and thus is the land of liberation. Your intellect say that all of you souls live in the land of Nirvana and that you come from there into the world of Toki. We souls are residents of that place. This play is based on Bharat. People celebrate the birthday of Shiv here. The father says, I have now come and will come again after a cycle. Bharat is paradise. It is said that so many years before Christ, there was paradise. It doesn't exist now, but it will exist later. Therefore, there definitely has to be destruction of the residents of hell and establishment of the residents of heaven. You are becoming residents of heaven. Hell will be destroyed. You also need to understand this. Acha, to the sweetest beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the dharna. First point, have good wishes for everyone. Give to regard to everyone. Make effort to claim a high status in the golden age kingdom. Second point, Make effort to become soul conscious. Renounce following the dictates of human beings and follow the directions of the one. Maintain the intoxication of your study. Blessing. May you keep your record of giving regard good and make great donations of happiness as a charitable soul. Explanation. At this moment, there is the need everywhere to keep your record of giving regard good. This record will then play everywhere. Give regard and receive regard. Give regard to the younger ones. Give regard to the older ones. Let the regard of giving regard not be made and you will then become a great donor and a charitable soul who gives the donations of happiness. To make someone happy by giving him regard is a great act of charity. That is real service. Slogan Move along considering every moment to be the final moment and you will remain ever ready. Om Shanti 